morning children how are you all hope you are all fine okay in today's class we are going to learn grammar okay we are going to learn singular and plural singular and plural okay let us know what is singular what is plural see what is mean by singular singular refers to just one person or thing singular refers to just one person or thing for example cow pen desk repeat it with me cow pen desk and what is mean by plural plural refers to more than one person or thing plural means more than one person or thing for example cows pens desk repeat it cows pens desk next let us see the rules of singular and plural first singular noun to plural noun boat boats we have to add yes boat boats cat cats pencil pencils once again repeat it with me boat boats cat cats pencil pencils see the second rule add es to singular noun ending in s s s c h s s okay if the singular noun ending in these letters means we have to add es to singular noun to make them into plural example watch watches w a t c h watch it is singular noun w a t c h e s we added e s to make it to plural next pass passes gas gases once again we shall say okay watch watches pass passes gas gases then see the third one add s or es to singular noun ending in o okay if the singular noun ending in o means we have to add s okay photo photos p h o t o photo the singular noun ending in o p h o t o s photos next potato potatoes we are es piano pianos we are s once again repeat it with me children photo photos potato potatoes piano pianos next see the fourth one singular nouns ending in consonant plus y remove the y and add i e s okay if the singular noun ending in consonants of plus y means we have to remove this y and add i e s see the example city cities here we remove this y and add it i e s okay city cities baby babies puppy puppies repeat it with me city cities baby babies puppy puppies shall we go to next okay sometimes we use different words okay sometimes we use different words to change into plural see this ox oxen child children person people okay we change it in different words ox oxen child children person people okay children let us recall from the first rule okay see singular noun to plural noun boat boats cat cats pencil pencils add es to singular noun ending in s s s c h s h watch watches pass passes gas
gases and then third rule add yes or yes to singular noun ending in o photo photos potato potatoes piano pianos next one singular nouns ending in consonant plus y remove the y and add i e s yes. okay city cities baby babies puppy puppy next one. sometimes we use different words ox oxen child children person people okay children let us see the sixth rule see add only yes to singular noun ending with vowel plus y okay see if the singular noun ending with vowel plus y means you have to add just s yes. what are the vowel letters a e i o u okay repeat it with me a e i o u now see here this singular noun ends with vowel plus y so we have to add yes day days tall toys kidney kidneys okay once more day days toy toys kidney kidneys okay see the seventh rule singular noun ending with f or fe change f or fe to v e s yes. okay if the singular noun ending with f or fe means we have to remove this word and add v e s yes. what we have to add v e s yes. see the example wolf wolves why why is it cough cows leaf leaves here in every word we remove this and add v e s okay repeat it with me wolf wolves why why cough cows leaf leaves okay see the third eighth one sometimes no change to the noun in the plural form okay sometimes we don't have to change anything see deer deer sheep sheep fish fish repeat it with me deer deer sheep sheep fish fish see the ninth one change the vowels in some singular noun to form plurals okay if you have to change in plural mean we have to change the vowels in singular noun see man men okay we change this word a and instead of that we have to write e okay man men food feet tooth teeth repeat it man men food feet tooth teeth okay some nouns only in the plural form as they are made of two parts of we never use them in singular okay see carefully some nouns only in the plural form as they are made of two parts we never use them in singular okay some of the words are made in two parts we never use them in singular noun okay see example jeans trousers spectacles okay repeat the example jeans trousers spectacles okay okay children now we are going to recall all these rules okay see the first one add only yes to 
singular noun ending with vowel plus y. They, theirs, toy, toys, kidney, kidneys. Seventh one. Singular nouns ending f or fe. Change f or fe to b e s. Wolf, wolves. Wife, wives. Calf, cows. Leaf, leaves. Okay, see the eighth one. Sometimes no change to the noun in the plural form. Deer, deer. Sheep, sheep. Fish, fish. Change the vowels in some singular noun to form plurals. Man, men. Food, feet. Tooth, teeth. See the tenth one. Some nouns only in the plural form as they are made of two words. We never use them in singular. Example, jeans, trousers, spectacles. Okay, next. Write the singular form of these nouns. Okay, we have to write singular form for these nouns. Okay, see the word books. What is the singular form for this? Yes, book. B O K. Book. Books. Book. Books. Book. Next. Cherries. What is the singular form for this? Yeah, cherry. C H E R R Y. Cherry. We have to remove I E S and add Y. Okay. Cherries, cherry, cherries, cherry. Next, woman, woman. What is the singular form for this word? Woman, right. W O M A N. Woman, woman, woman. Okay, next. Bees. What is the singular form for bees? B. Very good. We have to remove that. Yes. Next. Buses. What is the singular form for buses? Bus. Very good. B U. Yes. Buses. Bus. Okay. Shall we recall all these things? See. Write the plural form of these nouns. Okay. Class. Classes. Class. Classes. Penny. Pennies. Penny, pennies. Goose, geese. Goose, geese. Tree, trees. Tree, trees. Cup, cups. Cup, cups. Next one. Write the singular form of these nouns. Books, book. Books, book. Cherries, cherry. Cherries, cherry. Woman, woman. Woman, woman. Bees, bee. Bees, bee. Next. Buses, bus. Buses, bus. Okay, children. Now I am going to show a class part for singular and plural. First one. Fly. What is the plural form for fly? Yeah, very good. Flies. Fly. Flies. We have to remove the Y and then add I, E, S. Okay. Fly. Flies. Next. Food. What is the plural form for this? Yeah. Feet. Food. Feet. Food. Feet. Next. What is the plural form for chair? Yeah. Chairs. Chair. Chairs. We have to add yes. Next. Ox. What is the plural form for ox? Yes. Oxen. Ox. Oxen. Ox. Oxen. Then. Video. What is the plural form for video? Videos. Video. 
videos video videos we have to add yes okay and the last one is city city what is the plural form for city cities city cities we have to remove y and then add i e yes okay city cities children let us see some more singular and their plurals for your more uh, more understanding first one look at the given thing so this is this is a flower so it is a singular because here i have only one flower so it is singular flower shall we count this one flower two flower three flower and four flower here i have how many flowers yes very good i have four flowers so the plural form of flower is flowers see the spelling f l o w e r s flowers the singular form of flower is flower because here i have only one flower here i have four flowers so the plural form of flower is flowers f l o w e r s flowers look at the next thing children what is this yes very good it is a ball here i have how many balls only one ball so it is singular so the plural form of ball is balls because here i have one two two balls ball balls b a l l yes balls the plural form of ball is balls see the next one what it is it is a sketch here yeah, how many sketches i have only one sketch so it is singular it is a sketch only one sketch here so it is singular count the other sketches 1 2 3 4 5 here i have how many sketches five sketches so it is plural so the plural form of sketch is sketches see the spelling for sketches s yes. k e t c h e s yes. sketches the the plural form of sketch is sketches look at the next thing children what it is it is an apple here i have only one apple so it is singular here i have more apples so it is plural so the plural form of apple is apples apple apples a p p l e s apples apple apples children look at the next thing what it is it is a leaf see the spelling for leaf l e a s leaf so leaf ends with the letter w f if the singular noun ends with the f or the f e what do you have to do you have to remove the f and you have to add v e s so the plural form of leaf is leaves see the spelling for leaves y a l e a v e s you have to remove f and add v e s so the plural form of leaf is leaves leaf is leaves now tell me children what it is it is a watch see the spelling for watch w a t c h watch if the singular noun ends with s s s s s h c h what do you have to do you have to add e s to the singular noun to change the singular into its plural here watch ends with s h letter so you have to add e s watch watches w a t c h e s watches watch watches what it is it is a box it is a singular noun because here you have only one box 
So it is a box. See the spelling for box. B O X. Box. Box ends with the letter X. If the singular noun ends with the X, what you have to do? You have to add ES to the singular noun to change the singular into its plural. Box. Boxes. Box. Boxes. B O X. E S boxes. If the singular noun ends with the X, you have to add E S box boxes. Look at the thing. What it is? It is a key. See the spelling for key. K E Y key. Key ends with the Y, and also you have to be look at the before letter. If the before letter is vowel A E I O U, what do you have to do? You have to add I E S or S. Yes. yes, very good. You have to add yes because before Y vowel letter is present. So you have to simply add yes, not I E S. Yes. Key keys. The plural form of key is keys. So children, look at the next thing. What it is? It is a bottle. So singular. So the plural form of bottle is. Bottles, bottle, bottles. Look at the next thing. What it is? It is a book. Here you have only one book. So it is a book. Here I have one, two, three, three books. So the plural form of book is books. So you have to simply add yes to the singular noun. To change the singular into plural, book, box, b o o k, yes, box, book, box. Here you have only one book, so it is singular. Here you have more than one. It means one, two, three, three books you have, so it is plural. So the plural form of book is box. Now look at the thing. What it is? It is a pen. T E N pen. Here you have one, two, three, three pens. Here you have only one pen, so it is singular. Here you have one, two, three, three pens, so it is plural. So the plural form of pen is pens. T E N yes. You just add yes to the singular now to change the singular into plural. So the plural form of pen is Pens. Hello, children. Now we will move on to the reading practice. I have given a passage from the lesson called the Little Bully. The name of the lesson is the Little Bully. This is the passage we are going to read now. Listen me carefully. Once upon a time, not so very long, long ago, there was a small boy called Harry. Although he wasn't very big. He was strong, and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pen. I will repeat this passage. I will read this passage once again. Listen me carefully. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Harry. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong, and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pin. Before going on to the explanation, we will see the hard words. First one is tease. Tease means make fun of. Tease make fun of. Bruise injury by blow to body. Injury by blow to body. Prick last one is prick. Make a small hole. In with a sharp point. Make a small hole in 
with the stop point. I repeat this once again. T's make fun of. T's make fun of. Making fun of someone is called T's. Bruise. Bruise means injury by blow to body. Injury by blow to body. Making injury. Making someone injured and because of that injury, the body of uh, that man is blown. Prick. Prick means make a small hole in with a sharp point. Prick means making a small hole with a sharp point. Is make fun of bruise, injury by blow to body. Prick make a small hole in with a sharp point. Now we will read this passage once again and I am going to explain this passage. Once upon a time, not so very long, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Hari. Although he was very really big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was tricking people with a pen. Now we will note the explanation. Once upon a time, there lived a small boy named Harry. There is a small boy named Harry. Uh, long ago, he lived, though he was, was not very big. Though he was not very big, he was not a very big boy. He was strong. He was not a very big boy, but he was strong enough. He loves to tease and pinch all boys and girls of his school. What he loves is, he loves to tease. Tease means making fun of. He loves to make fun of all the boys and girls who will come to school with him. By doing this, he can make an injury within, within a second. Within a second, he can make an injury to the boys and girls by pinching them. He can make an injury by pinching them within a second. Within half a second, he can make an injury. He also does another trick that is pricking people with a pin. He does another trick also. He follows another trick that is pricking people with a pin. Pricking means make a small hole in with a short point. With the help of pin, safety pin, we will be having safety pin now, uh, it will be very short at its end. So with the help of that pin, he will prick, prick people. So he will make a hole on people's flesh. So uh, he does two things, that is tease and teach others and also he will love to prick people with a pin. Now again I will read the passage, listen me. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Hari. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Hari. Although he wasn't very big, it means he just wasn't. Although he wasn't very big, wasn't means was not. Was not is joined together to make the word wasn't. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Bruise means making injury. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pin. Another trick he played was pricking people with the pin. Pricking means uh, making a hole with a short point. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, 
there was a small boy called Hari. There lived a small boy called Hari. Although he wasn't very big, he was not big enough, but he was strong. But he is strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. He loved to make fun of all the boys and girls of his school. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He loved to pinch all the boys and girls who had come to school with him. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. He can make a big injury within a second. Another trick he played was tricking people with a pin. One more trick he played with those boys and girls was tricking people with a pin. Now we will see the certification for the girls. First one is ALGO. A L T H O U G H. A L T H O U G H. ALGO. ALGO he wasn't. This is wasn't. Was not. Was not uh, is combined together to form wasn't. ALGO he wasn't very big. He was strong and he loved to tease. Tease means make fun of. Tease. T E E G A S E. Tease. T E A S E T. He loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. Pinch. P I N C H. P I N C H. Pinch. He could make a big bruise. Bruise. B R U I S E. Bruise means injury. B R U I S E B R U I S E He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was pricking. Another trick he played was pricking. Pricking B R I C K I N G. Pricking B R I C K I N G. Pricking people with a pen. Another trick he played was pricking people with a pen. See the words tease. T E A S E. Tease. T E A S E. Then Aldo. A L T H O U G H. Aldo. A L R T H O U G H. Aldo. Next one is pinch. P L E N C H. Pinch. P I N C H. Next, bruise. B R U I S E. Bruise. B R U I S E. Bruise. Last one is pricking. P R I C K I N G. P R I C K I N G. Finally, I will read out this passage. Listen me carefully. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Hari. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was tricking people with a pin. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a small boy called Hari. Although he wasn't very big, he was strong and he loved to tease all the boys and girls who went to school with him. What he loved to do most was to pinch. He could make a big bruise to appear in half a second. Another trick he played was tricking people with a pin. This is the passage. Read out this passage carefully and see all the hard words in this passage. At last year, home assignment is complete the given version. You should complete the given version. You will get a PDF with this video. You should complete that uh, version and send your homework. The next one is read the given passage. Refer page number 135, 135 in your book and post the video in the school group. A uh, school group. You have to read this passage. This passage will be given in your 
book page number 135 you have to read this passage make a video and you should post it in your school group hope you understand reading this passage thank you